Greetings Ventures, I'm Lauren Gaming, and I'll be your guild advisor for this video. This time I'll be going over the new heroic trial, Freeze Training, or Freze Training as they would say in Japan. In this heroic trial, you'll be able to farm quests to acquire tokens to exchange for a Sparkle Princess Eyes Bond used for limit breaking her. To buy the bond, you'll need to acquire 400 tokens and you can only buy this one time, so getting any more than 400 is a waste. Even if you don't have Sparkle Princess Eyes, getting the Bond is a good idea in the event you do get her. She's one of the best physical units in the game. If you already have her at plus 5 like me, you can sell the Bond for Sirios and Dulb. That's 10 Dulb closer towards those coveted Prison Bonds. As always, there are 3 difficulties, with here falling completion rewards from Normal and Hard, with Very Hard difficulty rewarding you with a feat that's really just bragging rights. I really wish it was 3 Hero Fauna instead. Like with every heroic trial, you'll need to spend a challenge orb to unlock the quest for one hour. Remember, you'll always have your daily free challenge orb. Let's go over the fight itself. Your opponent, surprise surprise, is Sparkle Princess Eyes. Looking at her resistances, she resists physical damage by 80%, and she's weak to all forms of magic. 70% weakness to earth, thunder, and dark magic, and 30% weakness to other forms of magic. She is also immune to all ailments. Now for her moveset, she has four main moves. Sivyet Mech is a single target physical attack. She can use this multiple times per turn. Whenever she counters, she uses an attack called Tress Piercer, which is simply a single target physical attack. Eternal Lil Rafaga is an AoE physical attack that deals a good bit of damage and has a chance to stun your characters. Stun resistance is advised. She appears to use this move on turns 3 and 4, 8 and 9, and 12 and 13, and so on within that pattern. For this fight, your best bet is to use your best magic characters. Hopefully, you got an Elf's Honor and Lafia from the Grand Day event. That'll make things tremendously easier. Also, even though Honor Secession Bell mainly deals physical damage, his special arts attack is fire magic. So, if you don't have too many strong magic units and have a high limit broken bell, put them into consideration. One particularly highlight character is Cute Elf Philvis. He uses thunder magic, one of Eyes' big weaknesses. Her single target attack will also reduce Eyes' thunder resistance by an additional 40%. Keep in mind that you can't make this weakness go past 100%. The other two heavy hitters due to Eyes' weaknesses are Onsen Lily with her Earth Magic Arsenal and Sailor Osfi with her array of Dark Magic moves. If you don't have this Lily or Osfi, that's perfectly fine as they're likely not limit broken like your other magic characters. So, characters that have been previously on banners like Elf's Autumn Lafia, Elf Winning Awakening Lafia, Cuta Philvis, Lovely Travel Lily, who has a single target attack that further reduces magic resistance, and a Holy White Royal Reveria, who sports a light magic resistance debuff and a great 45% magic buff to all allies, are great choices. Also, remember that Reveria is on the pickup banner this week. Coincidence much? Another highlightable character is of course Best Girl, Guild Disguise Ryu. She uses wind magic and with her Stellaris skill, she'll be able to reduce Eyes' strength by 30%, severely hampering the amount of damage Eyes will do to you. Her single target wind skill is also solid. Another magic character that can help reduce the damage is Bathroom Princess Eyes, who has a 40% physical resistance buff for all allies. Her first skill also reduces enemy magic resistance. Even though she's typically a physical character, the new Casino Lady Shakti has a pretty good arsenal to reduce damage from physical encounters. Her first skill is a guard rate and physical resistance buff, and her second skill is a strength and crit rate debuff. Use this lovely Christmas cake if you find you're taking too much damage and don't have Bath of Princess Eyes or Ryu. With any combination of characters you use, you definitely want to be using a healer. Some particularly standout healers are 4 Star Fells and Reveria who can support defensive buffs as well as strong heals. They also can deal a good bit of damage on their own, Fells in particular since Fells uses Thunder Magic. Also notable is Gale Ryu for her heal and her magic and agility buff. You should always consider best girl. As always, Almighty Fighter Osfi is solid with her heal that increases counter rate and her 30% damage reduction skill. For useful assist, definitely use either 3 star Misha for some resistance or 4 star Olabrod Hestia if you have her since she also applies an endurance debuff. An honorable mention goes to Ceremonial Flame Hestia who will block the first ailments done to your allies, 2 ailments at plus 5. So, if you have her at plus 5 because you failed to get Bell, she has some use here if you don't have a stun resistance assist. Banquet Queen Freya will increase the magic and agility of your units. Also, the 3-star Prowling for Lust Freya is good too if you're lacking many magic assist, since level 60, she'll boost the equipped character's magic by 25%, 30% at plus 5. 
Banquet Attire Hermes will further reduce enemy magic resistance. You can use 3-star Booty Loki, uh, I, I mean Trickster Loki, if you don't have him. For defensive assist, there's Artless Hephaestus and Filma Goddess Hestia for physical resistance. Pure White Dress Seer gives endurance, which also helps reduce damage. You can also use Paradise Mood Hestia to reduce Eyes' strength, or 3-star Mighty Elephant Ganesha if you don't have her. And as always, HP regen assist like 3-star Miok or 4-star Amid will always help if you're fighting yourself low on health. I guess I should mention Bunny Goddess Hestia as well, since she also regens HP, but I'd be very surprised if you have her already. Did you stay up all night at the casino and pack in your sleeping bag? Using a combination of these adventures and assist characters should take you to victory in this heroic trial. Remember, it doesn't matter which difficulty quest you farm, they all give the same amount of tokens per stamina in the end. Try to clear all three difficulties, then auto-battle the difficulty you are comfortable with to get those tokens while watching some anime. You have until July 24th to collect your 400 tokens and get your Sparkle Princess Eyes Bond. Good luck! If you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. To stay updated on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter and join my Discord for any questions and discussion. Continue enjoying your time adventuring in Rario and the Dungeon. This is Lauren Gaming and I'm signing out. I mean seriously, all you gotta do is use Best Girl.